Hi, this is Pastor Steve of North Hollywood First United Methodist Church. This upcoming Sunday is a special holy day that we celebrate the baptism of our Lord. And it's when we read the scriptural story of how Jesus was baptized in the River Jordan by John. It's an interesting story because like Jesus, we are baptized into our faith. And sometimes people ask me as a pastor, what does baptism represent and what does it signify? And I can tell you that baptism is a rite of initiation. It is a rite by which we as the church receive new people as members into our midst. There's also that, I, there's, there's a, how shall I say it, a symbolic thing that happens in which we the water is a sign of God's grace, which washes away sin and which represents a new beginning for us in the way by which we relate to God. And it's also a sign of sanctification, a sign of being set aside, whether it's by our parents or by ourselves. It's something that you do once in your life. And there's nothing magic about it. It's a symbol. It's a ritual. But I'm also going to say there is something mysterious that happens in which God's grace is outpoured in a very special way. Which brings us to the other part of baptism. It's not just something that we do as a Christian community. It's also something through which God's affirmation is poured out over us. And in particular, in Jesus' baptism, there is something about the affirmation that he receives from God which unleashes him to be able to do the ministry that he is called to do and to be the fully divine, fully human person that he was born to be so that we all might be saved that we all might know God. So consider your baptism and be thankful. And I hope that you'll join us as we deep, dig deeper into the affirmation that Christ receives and the affirmation that we receive from God as we live out our lives of faith. See you on Sunday. You can get the link to our worship service either online on our website at www.nohofumc.org or you can go to YouTube and type in NoHoFUMC and our service will come up. But may this be your affirmation of the week. That God sees you, that God loves you, that God is pleased with you. And that there is a place for you in the body of Christ, in the kingdom of God, and in our church. Amen.